Are you ready for high density 25 and 100 gig ethernet connections? SFP 25 gig and QSFP 100 gig transceiver modules are here now and push optical technology like never before. One of the things we see in these links that we haven't seen much before is Forward Error Correction, or FEC. FEC is a way to improve link performance. When we say performance, it could mean bit error rate, or BER, data rate, reach, or all of the above. It does this by adding coding gain to increase the signal to noise ratio. This is important now that these optics are up at 25 and 100 gig. Both speeds share similar issues in QSFP 100 gig and SFP 25 gig form factors because the QSFP 100 gig optics are based on 4 by 25 gig channels. To support these channels, the optical components, ICs, PCB designs, and packaging are all pretty difficult at the high frequencies required. And they're starting to get expensive, especially compared with 10 and 40 gig. So we could use a little help in getting that connectivity. In comes FEC. It's cost effective because it's implemented electrically on the host platform, usually in a dedicated chip or in the ASIC. The chip encodes the data and adds redundant check bits so that if there is a bit error, the receiver knows it when it decodes. The benefit can be huge. We're talking a factor of 10 million in improvement in BER. That relieves a lot of stress from the optical components. If you're thinking that it sacrifices throughput and adds latency, you're right, but it's not a huge amount, and it's well worth it, especially if latency is not critical in your application. Which interfaces need FEC? For 25 and 100 gig, pretty much all the standardized optical and cable interfaces except LR4. As a result, all the QSFP 100 gig ports out there support FEC, and the software in the platform is smart enough to turn off the FEC when an LR4 module is plugged in. Let's review the main points. FEC is needed more for 25 and 100 gig than for slower rates because they push the limits of optical and electrical technology. FEC in a chip or ASIC helps achieve low BER and is cheaper than high performance optical components. QSFP 100 gig and SFP 25 gig share similar challenges because the QSFP 100 gig optics are based on 4 by 25 gig channels. FEC sacrifices throughput and adds latency but it's acceptable for most applications. FEC is supported on all QSFP 100 gig ports. It's not used when a QSFP 100 gig LR4 module is plugged in. So there it is. Now you know why FEC is needed in 25 and 100 gig optical interfaces.